Every sport at the Olympic Games is of course stuffed with science and technology and this is definitely the case for archery. This is an Olympic bow. A marvel of technology. Lots of things sticking out here, lots of things going on. An archer will have this thing in, in their hand and there will be a piece of string around the other hand, piece of metal holding the arrow in place that is clearly blocking the way if it wants to leave. Why is all this stuff here? Well, everything in archery serves one purpose and that is be consistent. You have to try to execute every shot in the exact same way. Because if you manage to do that, the only thing you have left to do is adjust your visor. You can put it a bit higher and lower, to the left and to the right, until it indicates the exact spot where your arrow lands. And if every shot after this is exactly like the one before, then you will be an Olympic champion. So what do these things do? These are the stabilizers. They are just a bit of weight on a long stick, so they create leverage. It's more difficult to move the bow like this because of this lever. And also these are there, that makes it more difficult for the bow to move like this. Less movement, more stable bow. They also move the center of gravity forward, and that is important the moment your bow is under tension. Because now, without these sticks, the center of gravity would be behind my hand. It would be right here. If you loosen up then, the bow will have the tendency to move like this. These sticks move the center of gravity exactly inside my hand so I can rest at a stable position when I'm here. Why is this piece of metal inside the hand of the archer? Well, there's a little slit here between the fingers. You put it exactly around the arrow so your hand will always be at the exact same position. And then there's a metal plate here. Now, you can feel that in your jaw there are little dents and bumps and every archer has chosen one of these spots to anchor this metal plate. Every time you will put this metal plate at the exact same spot here against the jaw so that every shot is executed in the exact same way. And we have this left, this piece of metal right here. What does it do? Well, it's called a clicker. If you start moving the arrow backwards, there will be an exact point where it passes the clicker. The clicker will close and make a click sound. There it goes. That is the sign for the archer to let go. Why do they do this? Because if you wait for the clicker, you will let go at the exact same tension every time again. If you would pull the arrow back a bit too far, it would land too high. If you would let go of the arrow a bit too soon, it would land too low. The clicker tells you exactly when to let go. You will always see this when you're watching Olympic archery. You can watch this clicker and it will always close just before they let go of the arrow. And then in the end, the piece of string around the hand. Why is it there? Well, it is because you never really grip a bow. You will never really hold a bow when you're ready to shoot. If you would grip a bow tightly, all your vibrations of your muscle and your heartbeat will be converted onto the bow. You don't want that. You hold it with an open hand, you push it away, lose an open hand. The result is, after you've let go of the arrow, the bow will jump forward and you don't want it to fly away. That's why they have this piece of string here and the result is of course it jumps forward and then it makes this beautiful gracious arc movement for the cameras to enjoy while the arrow is flying towards a solid tin and you become Olympic champion.